the underground circuit. All right, welcome back. We have the Filthy Honey's new map, the underground circuit. So this one is unbeatable avatars um, as per normal. So it's gonna give a definite challenge. Um, I've actually tried this one around about seven times so far. And best I've managed to get is eighth place. So it's uh, definitely not an easy one. Now the trick to this one apparently is grip and fast speed or top speed. Get through the first two turns and the rest you should hopefully be able to floor it. Um, so we're gonna try up, pulled out a car that has a 1010 on speed and acceleration, but yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get anywhere near first. But that said, it will give you definitely a great idea of what this one is about. And you know what? This might be the challenge that you're after. Um, get this one around. Jesus, where did that car come from? Now I'm racing an S1900 if anyone is wondering. Damn, these cars are like mosquitoes on a bad night. Come on, Porsche. What would your German heritage say? Move it. Keep accelerating, come on. Okay, now there's also a four lapper as well. Top left, you will see that. Um, oh my God, what? Yeah, lost mosquito. I'm talking about the car behind, clearly. Okay. There is no way I could carry those corners at full speed. But the design work on this one is just perfect. The layout, the lighting around it, it is just phenomenal. Move it, move it. Oh my god. Yeah, we're definitely not getting first in this one, that's that's for sure. I am ruling that in the sand right now it's just not happening but uh, we will definitely get a position that's that's what we're gonna run with normally my Porsches can get me through the unbeatables but I don't think it will be the case today Come on, grip, 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 grip. Drift is not what we're here for. Grift is, drift is what, what we're here for. Grift is a whole other thing. Get around, get around. You know what? I will be happy with 7th because that will be the best position that I've gotten on this map. Well, that's what we're going to target. And if we draw a little line at the bottom of the 7, we're going to call that a number 1. That's the theory. It's like a, like a report card where you can adjust an actual score. We're not catching those cars in front at all. I 
I reckon if I sat down and spent 50 minutes on this, I could probably get to the first position, but definitely, uh, I'm just happy running the car around. It's, it's ultimately not going to be about the position and in the race. You know, I'd love to get first, but you know what? I'm just enjoying the atmosphere in this anyway, so we'll just enjoy the Porsche sliding around. Oh, go, go, go. We have to keep our seven at least. That way we can make it a one. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I almost lost my seventh there. All right, well that there's the underground circuit. Uh, do check it out. Like I say, if you want a really good challenge, yeah. Um, the Corvette 53 won it. Like, how the hell? That's like, Jesus Christ. Uh, 121, so they're the S1 class I ran it. Um, yeah, give it a shot, see what you think. And um, yeah, other than that, and you can see the times between it weren't too far. Like, 121.6, I was a 122.8. It's, it's not a, it's a, it's a bit, but it's not a, a 40 second gap or anything. So, um, all right, that's enough of me rambling. Enjoy your day. Check this out. Um, really great fun. And, you know, if you put a bit of time into it, I reckon you can get first. No worries. Catch ya.